trigonometric function. It is basically as the beginning of the class we discussed that trigonometry deals with the angle and the sides, length of the sides. So, trigonometric function is actually takes the angular value or angle value of any angle of a right angle triangle to some side rate or to some ratio or angle to some real number that is called trigonometric function. In general angle is described by radian measure or degree measure. So, as you take your uh, geometry box open the spectator you get some degree uh, 0 to 180, 0 to 90 and all that stuff right. So, that is degree we are talking about and for radian, radian is little higher concept is actually a measure, measurement just like you need, you need for the length of a sides a centimeter, someone give you a kilometer, someone told you a foot on all that. So, there are basically two measures is available for angle. Now, the relation between uh, angle in radian measure and the degree measure are actually pi radian is 180 degrees. So, just remember this concept that whenever we have to convert the values in radian to degree, we will use 180 degree is equal to pi radian. Okay. Now, take some special beautiful angle that is 0, 30 degree, 40 degree, 60 degree and 90 degree. So, whenever we try to convert it, you will find 0 pi by 6, pi by 4, pi by 3 and pi by 2, just remember. But mostly in class 10, we all solve problem regarding this degree measure. We will never discuss this radian because that is not required. But I, you just learned it because in the next year, when you are the learning the class 11, the first chapter will be regarding this radian and all. So, that is why it is mandatory. Okay. Now, this is the basic function. Now, we talk about lot of thing with trigonometric function and all that, but trigonometry is not that difficult. So, now we discuss how some scientists or some researcher in long back discovered and some find some idea of trigonometry. So, to do so, first we take a few different notation of trigonometry, which are sine, cosine, tangent, cosine, tangent, second and cotangent. Now, this is very difficult to remember, right? So, the easiest way to remember these values or we use the notation to represent this trigonometric idea is sine, cos, tan, cosec, sec and cot. And this are the notation of sine, cosine, tangent and all that, right? Now, this all functions are defined on some angular measure. So, what is the angle? So, we take the angle as theta, then whatever the value, we basically call them or we are asking to find out the values of sin theta, cos theta, tan theta and so on and so forth. So, this is the basic idea of trigonometric ratio, whatever you said or trigonometric identity, whatever trigonometric values, whatever you said. Now, the problem is how we calculate this. This is the notation just like I define plus, I define product, but how I find out these values. So, it relates with some trigonometric triangle. So, if we draw a triangle, then only we have to be able to calculate all those values one by one. Now, we take a line and make an angle. So, whatever the value, it may be 10 degree, 5 degree, 100 degree, I do not know but some angle. Now, we drop perpendicular from B to C, D to F. So, these angles are 90 degree. So, therefore, we get two triangle A, B, C and B, D, sorry, A, D, E, all are right angle triangle. Now, why I draw it? Because here with respect to the angle A, these two triangle became similar triangle. We try to measure this length. Now, we take this right angle two triangle and try to measure what about the length of AD, what is D, BC and so on and so forth. Let's see that we can find some beautiful relation, yes or no. Now, take a measure and try to calculate it. Now, you see it is approximately 5 and 3, right. So, therefore, we can take this length AB is 3, AD is 5. 
obviously that is easily observed with the rule, right? Okay. Now, take another rule and try to calculate the length BC. You can easily observe it is approximately equal to 1.7. Just close your eyes in this position and you can easily see that. Okay. Now, what about DE? So, we take another ruler, it is approximately equal to 2.85. Just calculate all those values. Okay, that's it. Now, altitude is obtained, base is obtained. Now, what is left? We left is for hypotenuse. Now, whenever hypotenuse is there, we have to again calculate the hypotenuse. So, in that case, it is 3.4, 5.70. forget about everything. So, we note down all the values here. That means all the side lengths one by one. Now, whenever it is loaded, whenever we calculate it, let us try to find out. So, first find the ratio of altitude by hypotenuse, altitude by base, base by hypotenuse in some form, right. So, try to calculate it. So, this is base BC by AC, D by AC. Now, see those ratios are constant. If we, so for any angle, if I make it as theta, altitude by hypotenuse for any triangle are constant. Now, if I extend this line and we get another big triangle, then that case also that altitude divided by base is constant. Take the second one, obviously base by hypotenuse. So, in that case also you see it is more or less constant. Okay. Now, take altitude by base or in that case you said this is constant again the value is approximately 0 0.6. So, what we learn? We learn that for any triangle or any right angle triangle if the angle is constant the ratios of altitude by hypotenuse, base by hypotenuse, altitude by base always constant. So, what that mean? That can be a properties for a right angle triangle, right? So, for that only we define three basic idea or three basic concept of trigonometry. So, these ratios are defined as sin A. These basic ratios are generally known as sin A. If this angle, this is cos A and this is tan a. So, these are the ratios, whatever the ratio I get uh, able to get receive from the ratio of the sides of a triangle and the angle property or angular value that connects with each other by trigonometry and we calculate sin a, cos a, tan a and all that stuff. Now, we already discussed that, that these are the sin a, cos a and tan a, we now wrote down in the appropriate form. Now, we face some difficulties here. So, that difficulties we will discuss. Now, see for the angle A, we able to calculate this is altitude and this is base. Now, what happened for the another, another angle? Because altitude and base cannot be interchanged, right? That is that's not the right way to discuss. So, now we will think about the angle C. Now, with respect to the angle C, what is my altitude? Obviously, AB must be my altitude and BC must be my base. Then there is some issue in definition, right? Because altitude is the height. Height cannot be changed for any figure, right? So, that is why we replace the concept of altitude. We called it as opposite. So, opposite mean for the angle, what is the opposite side? So, that is BC. For C, what is the opposite side? It is AB. So, therefore, we also change the definition of sin A, cos A and tan A. Here, we just replace opposite altitude by opposite. So, what is the formula? For sin A, we have opposite by hypotenuse. For cos A is base by hypotenuse. And for tangent or tan of A or tan of any angle is the altitude by base. So, just remember this formula. So, this is the basics of trigonometric definition. Okay. Now, at the beginning we said there are six ratios sin, cos, tan already we defined. Now, we have to define what is cot, what is cosec, what is sec. Okay. What is that? They are basically the reciprocal of everything. So, therefore, 
if we calculate that, we calculate that sin A cos A and all that. Now, we calculate sin C from this figure. What is sin C? Sin C is obviously C is opposite by hypotenuse. For C, what is the opposite? Opposite is AB. Hypotenuse definitely AC. So, it is AB by AC, BC by AC and BC by AB. You can easily observe carefully to find the value of sin C, cos C and all that. So, this is the way we have to calculate the sin value. So, if any side's length is given, take the ratio, find the value of sin A. If sin A is given, just multiply by AC, you calculate BC and so on and so forth. We will solve some problem at the end. Okay. Now, we calculate all the first three trigonometric ratios. Now, here we calculate opposite by hypotenuse is BC by AC. So, so there will be the another ratio hypotenuse by base. So, if 5 by 7 is constant or some value, 7 by 5 is also constant, right? It's the same thing. So, therefore, this ratio is known as respectively cosec, sec and cot. So, these are the six important or only six you can talk about the ratio that we have in trigonometry. So, there are some ratio and based on that we can solve many problem of trigonometry. So, the basic idea of trigonometry is that six different ratios and connection between their right angle triangle and the sides. So, remember mostly this three. So, if we remember this three that sin A is opposite by hypotenuse, cos A is base by hypotenuse and tan A is opposite by base. Using that, we can easily able to find cosec sec and cot just using the concept that cosec is the reciprocal of sin A, sec is the reciprocal of cos A and cot is the reciprocal of tan A and vice versa obviously. So, these are the basics of trigonometry definition. Okay. Now, here we observe one important thing. We learn that sin A is 1 by cosec A and cosec A is 1 by sin A obviously because they are reciprocal of each other. Now, if they are reciprocal of each other obviously their product is 1. So, therefore, sin into cosec is always 1 based on the similar logic cos into sec is 1 and tan into cot is always 1. So, this is you can say the first kind of identity or relation that you have to remember. Okay. Now, mostly these are the properties you have to remember. For any right angle triangle, if you remember this chart whatever you are seeing in the screen now, your job is done. You are easy to remember all those, just remember that process that sin is opposite by hypotenuse cos is base by hypotenuse, tan is opposite by base and that is it. Remaining you do not have to remember. So, mostly this three sin value, cos value and tan value and the next line you just remember what is cosec, what is sec and what is cot because this is not that important all those definitions. Why? Because if I use if I remember this to our job is done. Okay. So, these are the basics. Just remember this chart. The first chart you have to remember for trigonometry. Okay. Now, for this we can also conclude that if sin theta is opposite by hypotenuse, cos theta is base by hypotenuse. So, what is sin theta by cos theta? Okay. In that case, it is obviously opposite by base because the hypotenuse get cancelled. So, that is why sin by cos is tan theta. So, that is the another property. Sin by cos is tan theta, okay. cot theta is cos theta by sin theta. Now, we discuss all those things, right. Now, we use again the definition of angle alpha. So, we calculated everything, we calculated everything with respect to that angle theta with this angle. Now, we try to find out all the ratio of six different angle based on this angle alpha. Now, let us do one by one. So, with respect to alpha, what is the opposite side? 
that is obviously AB. What is the base? That is BC and hypotenuse is obviously constant. The longest side is the hypotenuse. Now, calculate that using that what is sin alpha opposite by base that is AB by AC. Cos alpha is obviously BC by AC. Tan alpha is opposite by base. The same thing. Now, similar process we can apply for all those remaining thing. That's not a problem. The only the thing is that whatever alpha or the angle you have to given, you just fix that angle, try to find what is opposite, what is base. And hypotenuse, you can easily find the third side of this. Thing. And using that property that I have opposite by hypotenuse and all that, you calculate cos, sine and tan. If you calculate all the six remaining, you can calculate by reciprocating each other. Okay. So, that is the properties of or the de basic definition of trigonometry.